Hello everyone and today we are going to talk about the AWS cross account rules and also how we can leverage the AI to simplify our automation. So I have divided the today's session into two parts. First where we are going to see like how the AWS cross account role works and secondly we are going to see how we can improve our automation around the AWS cross account flow using the Skyline Ops AI. First, let's try to understand the scenario which we are going to cover inside our demo. Here onto the screen, you can see the two account. One is our master account and another one is our dev account. So when we are talking about the AWS cross account roles, then we should be working with the multiple account. And here I'm just taking these two account for this particular demo. Now, how we are going to simulate our scenario. So in the master account, we are going to create an IAM user, which is called Rahul.dev and in our dev account where we are going to create our IAM role which is S3 full access and that particular role will give the access to the S3 bucket present into the dev account. So if you have more than one, two or three S3 bucket then using this particular role you should be able to access all the S3 bucket. But now since we are talking about the cross account role so now what we need to do is we need to give this user which is sitting into the master account a permission to this particular role so that he can view all the S3 bucket present into our dev account. So this is the cross account I am role demo which we are going to show case. On the left hand side you can see a trust policy and this trust policy is really important for this particular IAM role present into this particular dev account because using this trust policy the user which is Rahul dev present into this particular AWS account should be able to assume that particular role and if you take a look over here this is the trust policy having this particular account number associated and these account number are exactly same. So this trust policy ensured that any user uh, present into this particular master account only be able to assume that particular role not any other AWS account. Now you have a little bit understanding on how we are going to perform a demo and how our account setup is going to look like. So here onto the screen you can see this is my AWS account and this account is going to be our master account and here you can see the account ID which is ending with the 8840 which you can see over here and uh, 8804 account is our master account so if I show you so here you can see this is our master account and in this account we are going to create this particular user all right and uh, on the same side uh, not same side but uh, let me show you one more account and here you can see this is a one more window which I have opened and this is going to be our uh, dev account which you can see over here and if I show you the account ID uh, of this particular, then it is ending with a 9702. And if I show you uh, the account ID of our dev account, then it is going to be 9702. So I just uh, showing you the multiple account setup and I have already logged in into both the accounts and we will be working in both the account. So first, uh, let's try to create a dev user into our master account and then we are going to jump and create this particular IAM role into the dev account. To create an IAM user into our master account, you need to log into your master account and here in the search box type IAM, click on this IAM link over here. And here on the left hand side, you can go for users, click on users. And here just click on create user. And here you can enter the name. So here I'm going to enter the name which is uh, rahul.dev. You can put any name of your choice, it's up to you. I'm going to select provide user access to management console that I need to have it and uh, specify user identity center recommended, but I would like to create an IAM user. Here you need to enter the password so that you can log into your AWS console. So here I'm going to specify uh, my custom password. Please keep the strong password over here and uh, this is just a test user which I'm going to delete pretty soon after the demo. So I'm not going to enable the uh, user must change the password after the first login. So I'm just going to uncheck. But if in case you're trying to set up this I am user, then please keep this setting if you are using it for dev staging or production environment. All right, click on next over here. 
and here uh, like uh, would you like this particular user to be part of any group uh, if you want it then please select that particular group otherwise just just ignore it but there is one more thing which we need to do we need to attach some policies so let's try to see if we can attach the policy over here or not so uh, i think uh, we can just go and search for sts over here mm, let me check uh, here is one thing that the policy which I'm talking about, the STS policy, we cannot create right now at this point of time. We first need to create an IAM user and after a successful creation of that particular IAM user, I'm going to attach that particular policy. So right now, let's uh, just go to the next. I'm not adding this particular user to any of my existing group and neither I'm creating any policy or attaching any pre-existing policy by AWS. So click next over here and here you can see this is the username and the password is custom and uh, permission summary. I don't, I don't have any permission associated with this particular user. And then here I'm going to click on create user over. And here you can see our user has been created and this is the console URL which you can copy and store it onto some of your notepad. Uh, but if you don't then uh, there is a uh, like uh, you can copy this uh, URL from the user settings as well. So you don't need to worry about it. Then click on return to the users list over here. Click on continue. And here you can see that uh, Rahul.dev user has been created. Let's verify a few details about this particular user. Click on this particular user and here you can see there is no permissions. There are no groups, uh, but security credential here from this particular option, you can copy the console URL link and you can log in to that particular user. Okay, so I was talking about the permission. So here after creation of the user, you need to go to the permission section and click on add permission and create an inline policy. And this policy is needed uh, because we will be uh, giving the STS permission so that it can assume those short lived credential and assume that particular role. So here I'm just going to select the service, which is STS select the STS and uh, here I'm going to allow all the STS action which includes read, write and tagging and uh, resources I'm going to choose all resources. After that click on next. Here you can uh, specify the policy name so here I can put STS uh, uh, admin role because I'm giving all the permissions uh, to this particular role or this particular policy and then click on create policy over here and here you can see uh, this particular policy is now attached with our this particular rahul.dev user and here uh, if you go back to our uh, ppt uh, which i was showing so we were working into this particular account we have created this particular user and now i am going to jump to this particular account to create our s3 bucket, uh, s3 permission uh, and role and after that i'm going to show you there is already an s3 bucket which is existing and we will try to access that particular s3 bucket with this particular user assuming this particular role all right so now i switch to the other account which is my dev account which you can see from here this is the account id which is ending with a 9702 and in this account we are going to create an iam role and permission so first let's go to iam section over here click on this particular iam and here click on the roles and click on create role over here and here i just need to select the trust entity type and since uh, this particular role is going to be assumed from our master account by rahul.dev user so instead of aws service i'm going to use aws account and here we need to enter the another AWS account. So select this particular option, another AWS account. And here we need to enter our master account number. So I'm going to copy that particular account number and which you can also see in the back end, I have one more tab open. So on the top, you can copy this account ID and go back over here. And I'll just put it on the top and put this particular account ID over here make sure that there are no spaces over here and this is the 12 digit account id of my root account after that uh, i just don't need to select these option if you need a required mfa for extra security you can enable it otherwise just skip it then click next over here 
and here the permission policy so i would like to assign s3 uh, full permission then i'm going to select s3 full access uh, since i'm just doing it for the demo purpose but if you have your custom policies which you have created for this particular role then you can associate your custom policies as well okay then click on next over here and here we need to assign the role name so this is a custom role so i'm going to give a name which is s3 full access uh, for rahul dev user uh, this is a very custom name but please uh, check with your organization that what kind of a role uh, uh, the naming rules uh, for rules for the name uh, you are using for this particular iim because uh, every organization follows certain patterns and rule while assigning the name for this particular roles Anyway, uh, let's continue over here. And after that, here you can see the trusted entities and this is the account which we are allowing it to trust. And after that, I'm just gonna go and click on create role. And here you can see our role has been created. And here you can see uh, the role name is S3 full access Rahul Dev and which you can search over here is this is the role which we have just created and let's re-verify the details. So yes, it, it has a permission and the trust relationship is for the master account. All right. So, so far what we have done is like we have created the IAM roles and permissions and we have played around with it from the AWS console. Now, let me introduce to the Skyline Ops AI tool, which can do the similar thing with the help of AI and we can automate these kind of a flow. So here is a Skyline Ops AI tool, which I was talking in the beginning, which you can use to generate some of your IAM roles and permission with the help of AI. It is a desktop based application and you can download the package from from this download section and right now they are supporting it for mac os and linux and soon they are going to launch it for a windows support as well so just download this package from here and after downloading and installing this uh, package onto your desktop or your laptop you will be prompted with the login so first you need to register the registration process is quite simple you need to provide your email and password that will send a verification code and once you verify your email then you will get your account with the skyline ops ai tool so after you log in so this is the dashboard of our skyline ops ai and on the left hand side you will see a select service so here you will find various services which is offered by aws and you can choose any of the services from this uh, drop down and for example if i select ec2 then this tool will help us in creating the iam role for the ec2 service and on the right hand side, you can see the browser where I have already logged into my AWS console through my AWS sign up account. And uh, here, uh, using this particular Skyline Ops AI tool, I'm going to select the service from the drop down over here, for example, EC2, and then I'm going to click on select and run agent. And this run agent is going to click on this whole UI and it is going to navigate me to the IAM console and then eventually it is going to create me an IAM role by itself. So what I will do, uh, I will just click on this uh, run IAM agent uh, for EC2, this green color button on the left hand side which you can see and after that I'm just going to fast forward this particular clip because it will take a few uh, minutes to generate that particular IAM role through this particular AI tool. And I'm going to click on this run IAM agent over here and on at the bottom you can see these are the logs which will be generated through this IAM, this particular agent. Uh, this IAM agent is going to take a little bit of time to execute and create the role. So I'm going to fast forward this screen recording from here and I'll be back once this whole role is created through our AI agent. And here you can see our agent has just finished and our role has been created. And here onto the screen you can see there are a couple of uh, runs I have did it. And the run which I did recently is this one where I have created EC2 service role and previously I have also created a one more similar role uh, with this uh, AI agent. Please give it a try for your workflow and I hope you will enjoy this particular tool. And let's get back to the topic. Let's go back to the drawing board and let's recheck what we have done so far. So we have created this user, uh, we have created this particular uh, role, we have created a trust policy, which is allowing this particular account to assume the role and that this role will be assumed by this particular user. 
And now I would like to show you the S3 bucket present into this particular dev account so that you can have a look that, yeah, this S3 is accessible. And when we will try to uh, access or try to switch the role uh, for this particular user, then we should be able to see the same S3 bucket. All right, so let's close this one and go back to our AWS console. And here you can see this is still, I'm into the dev account. Here I'm going to type S3, click on that S3. And here you can see this is the S3 bucket which I have created and which I'm going to uh, view with the assume role for Rahul.dev user. Okay, so for that, uh, let's switch back to our master account. And from there, we are just going to use the console link to login into the login with the Rahul.dev user. All right, so now I switch back to my master account, which you can see from here, uh, which is ending with at 04. And now I will go back to my IAM, click on this particular IAM link over here, go to the users, uh, go to the Rahul.dev user, go to security credential because I need to perform a login. So I'll copy this particular URL and I'm going to open an incognito mode. One more, uh, let me open that one. Okay, so this is an incognito mode where I'm going to paste that particular URL to login. And here, uh, like uh, first thing you need to keep in mind that uh, this particular user, Rahul.dev user present into this particular account. So make sure that the account is correct. Second, I am username. So here the I am username is Rahul.dev and the custom password which I have set in the beginning. So I need to use the same password. and then click on sign in. And here you can see I'm able to access my uh, account, which is Rahul.dev user, which you can see. This is the I am user and this is the account. All right, so now after the login, what we need to do next, we need to assume this particular role, which we have created in the dev account. So how we are going to assume the role. So I'll close this one and I'll go back to my incognito mode. So here you can see we have logged in through Rahul.dev user. And now we need to use the switch role uh, option over here. Click on the switch role. And here we need to enter the account ID. And this account ID is going to be the dev account. So here, if you take a look onto this particular diagram, then I'm going to enter this particular dev account ID. So let's go back and uh, I'm going to copy from my notepad that particular account ID and paste it over here. After that, the I am role. And if you remember the I am role, I have created with the name like S3 full access for Rahul.dev user. And uh, color, if you want to set some color to this particular window, then you can set it. Otherwise, it's an optional. So for me, I'm just going to set red. Click on switch role over here. And here you can see uh, on the top uh, that uh, role, this is the role this particular user has just recently assumed. And after assuming this particular role, we should be able to access our S3. So let's click on S3 and click on this particular S3 link over here. And here you can see the same S3 bucket is visible over here to me. So that's how uh, if you compare now that uh, this particular user is able to assume this role and using this assume role, it is able to access this particular S3 bucket. But internally, there is a trust policy which is allowing this particular account and this particular user to assume this particular IAM role. I hope you enjoyed the today's session. Please check out the Udemy courses which I have published on AWS and Azure and also please check out our YouTube membership program where you can access this kind of a content only for my YouTube members. So see you into the next session. Till then, take care and bye-bye.